Welcome to All Classic Car and today we're at the Astor Park Steam Rally and as is often the case there are many many lovely old lorries here so let's have a quick look and see what's here. Fantastic old Foden in the livery of Sam Longson Limited, Lime Division Buxton and as you may have spotted in the earlier videos that I've posted about classic and vintage lorries I'm fond of a bit of old time writing and on here there's a great example of that. Then we've got a Peterbilt with that old tractor lurking on the back. Big old American lorry of course, or truck rather. What this is, I'm not quite sure. It looks very oily rag, whatever it is. Let's stick to the lorries and trucks. So, Peterbilt. Very nice, just the sort of thing from going driving the east to the west coast in America and alongside that we've got a Ford D-Series also with a tractor on the back Little David Brown, very original, looks like it's just been dragged out of a barn somewhere Custom cab And we've got an ERF of the 1980s, Foden, Volvo, ERF, the American giant there, there's a Kenworth, wow, it's really quite something, Look at that mascot on there. Back to British lorries now, and then the ERF, very smart in, in indeed, 328XMA, I'll have a look to see what year that is, I'm guessing early 60s, late 50s, early 60s, nicely sheeted up proper load on there, old tarpaulin with the ropes, very good to see, and a Foden, very unusual looking tipper truck, let's have another quick look at that ERF. Another Foden, and a wonderful Bedford. Now I'm going to say that this is, it looks like an S-type, but is it an ex-military RL, I wonder, someone will know. Looks like a tipper body on the back, Sproston, Townfield Lane, Frodsham. So it's a Cheshire registered or Cheshire owned vehicle. Very bonny example. Probably restored, but some years ago, so it's sort of bedded in quite nicely now. There's a lovely sort of working look to it, not too shiny, but just nicely preserved. This is registered 1966, but I'm guessing it's a fair bit older than that. I do like seeing lorries looking like they're actually used for what they were designed for. Here we have a Foden PWB191. English Steel Corporation Limited Vickers Work Sheffield. Again, very representative of how these lorries would have looked back when they were in use. Not too shiny, just looked after, but very much a working vehicle. That's lovely, that. Alongside, there you very restored, very immaculate Albion. Very nice indeed, someone's put the effort into that one. Sure as the sunrise. I wonder if we can see inside. <laughs> oh, 
Hello. Any favourites so far? I saw that said and that was at all of them. Oh, yeah. Well, I can't get over there in a minute. There's a got... nice scam on the AEC. Oh, yeah. Let's get over there. ERF, Merc, Volvo. Oh, look at this. ERF 1938. What a fantastic old lorry that is. RNS Personi, Winsford, Cheshire. I remember years ago, I used to see quite a few uh, old lorries appearing at shows around here in the colours of Personi. So uh, they've been on the show scene for a long, long time. Well, this is absolutely stunning. 1938, so it's a pre-war lorry. Absolute gem of a lorry, that is. If you like your classic lorries, please pop a note into the comments and give the video a like if you're able. There's several videos about old lorries on here and uh, Always welcome your feedback on this kind of thing. The old tax disc and the old commercial operator's disc as well. Uh, lorries usually had to display both of them. But I mean, look at the sign writing on that. A mighty old scammel now. Fantastic. Um, heavy duty recovery gear on the back. An Atkinson Border, Elreg, so what, 1972. Again, lovely old sign writing. I know I keep going on about sign writing, but I do like sign writing. A Leyland. Not something you see too often now at shows. Impressive old crane. <laughs> and there's a fantastic old Foden, fully restored, and this gentleman was just saying it belonged to Lockheed Brakes and they used to use it for testing brake equipment. That was that kind was that right? Yes, yes, they used it for brake testing, yeah. Right, right. And they had this extra cab from new, so a double cab. So did they travel around all over the country with it then? No, for the first five years of its life it just spent working, doing testing on Lockheed's own test track. Oh right, where was that? It, we know. Wherever, I'm not Somewhere. sure where it was, right, yeah, right. but uh, it was on their own test track. Wow. So that is why it's a 1958 wagon mm. with a 1963 registration plate. Because it was because trade plates. when plate, they finished it? with it, mm. no they didn't need trade plates, it was their own track. Oh, so it never went on the road then? Never went no, on the road right. for five years. Wow. And then when they sold it on, uh, to a firm and they made it into a recovery vehicle mm. and after that it was owned by three different farmers who, who just let it just go derelict. Oh right, um, and you found it, that's how you found it in the picture up there. That's how we found it, so oh. we had to have a new cab and body. Did you? You had to replace it, did you? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> that is amazing. So, so how so how long's it how long's it been back on the road then? Uh, well, we've only had it about we've had it just over five years, and it, it took three and a half years to restore it. I can well imagine. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Oh, wow, well, that's the rear compartment. Wow. That's the rear compartment with wow. the on the original bill sheet drop down table, which we've a new one we've put in, and it is wow. back now pretty well as it was. And this wood, wait, wood wait. effect on the ceiling as well, on the roof? Yeah, wood effect on the roof. That is, that is glorious, isn't it? And what's this here? Is this? That is the isolation. When we've finished running it, mm. uh, we, we shut that off. Yeah. So that if it, it you, you can't start the engine, put the lights right. on or anything, so nobody right, can uh, sort of. <laughs> nobody can tamper <laughs> with anything. No, no, no. And also, it, um, it cuts all the power off so it doesn't run your battery down over winter. Got you, got you. The tailboard's dropped down if you want to look in the back as mm. well. There's the front end of that phone, it's the only one there's ever been, like I say, built specially for Lockheed brakes, fully restored now. Absolutely glorious. Right, alongside that wonderful phone, we've got a Mark 1 Ford Transit, a very bonny example, and a glorious Albion, another Albion. This is now Albion Chieftain. JTM 402. 
again lovely sheeting, proper ropes and everything on the back proper sign writing just as you would like it yeah, Albion Shore as a sunrise, that was their logo back in the day beautiful beautiful old lorry like I say there's a few videos about old lorries, commercial vehicles etc on the channel so please have a look at those once you've finished here and that is a Bedford TK R registration nice example and alongside is a Bedford S type information in the screen tells us it's 1953 <laughs> really really well turned out example In the RF, the Bedford CF CF2, quite a latest example, about 1985. A smart little drop side pickup truck. Plenty of Bedford memorabilia in the screen. Continuing our tour of the lorries, we have oof, an AEC Matador. What does it say here? 1946. The livery of the Birkenhead Brewery Company. Wonder if those are full. Ford D series demonstrating its tipping cab and the Bedford TK which didn't have a tipping cab which did uh, it may have held sales back a little bit it was a long time before Bedford offered a tipping cab on a vehicle of that size transit I guess they'll be collectible one day Scania maybe and a Pickford's Diamond T now oh, this I do like I do like these a lot ex-military Next World War II, and the livery of the Pickfords Heavy Recovery Company. 1942 Diamond TM20. I do like these. something even bigger <laughs> so what's that Goliath this is a Ford HZ60 from 1989 that even dwarfs the diamond T you know, 1980s Dodge series S66 fire appliance the Morris J-Type van or it could be a JB the J-Type had the side valve engine and the JB had the overhead valve engine I've got a feeling I know who owns that is this Fred Dibner's old Land Rover there's his other one this was made famous on of course the TV series of Fred Dibner the steeplejack back in the day I remember meeting Fred Dibner at a show many years ago, he was there with one of his steamrollers. And someone has preserved both his old Land Rovers. Another Land Rover Series 3, K Reg 1972. This is a 64 registered at Land Rover. And the Series 2 or 2A. And a very nice A40 pickup. This one has been doing the local shows for many, many years. Probably 20 years I've seen this going to shows. And the odd road run every now and again. One of my favourite of the old British pickup trucks, definitely. 
I just think they're a stunning looking vehicle with those enclosed rear wings, you know, the uh, spats over the rear wheels. I just think they're fantastic. The Orlandi Leyland Reaver. Very nice. And a mighty Scammel tanker. This takes part on some of the local road runs. We may see some of these going around the arena later. And a Ford, one of the Cortina based. Is it the uh, P100? I think these are. C Reg 1985. Absolutely immaculate. And then we've got an old Albion. Very nice. Just look at this glorious cast radiator here. Absolutely beauty. Lovely old thing. I'm guessing pre war. The old Sims lamps. RJ6071. Flatbed body on it. Very nice indeed. There we go, 1936 tax disc, an old operator's license from 1968-69. Got one of the old Austins here with these, it's a threepenny bit cab. And the door is sort of round the back corner here, it's, it's quite an unusual layout. Quite an unusual looking thing. You've got this extra glass down here, for presumably for parking. Make life a little bit easier to manoeuvre in tight spaces. So that's a G Reg, so late, late 60s. And a magnificent Foden WVS901. Again, like most of the vehicles, or all the vehicles here, really well turned out. And a Leyland C Reg 1965, in the livery of a, an operator from Buxton over in Derbyshire. The Austin J40 and the Ford Corsair pedal car, well, not pedal car, a fairground ride. And that's our Bedford ambulance, coach built. Obviously, the original Bedford front end panels to here and to the top of the windscreen, then from there backwards, including the doors, that's all coach built. I'm not sure who that would have been by, maybe Low Mass or somebody like that. Got a bell on the front still. Let's have a look. JXX917. So I'll try and look at the, uh, the registration number of this one. Same mouldings as I've got on my old truck. Mighty Foden, P Reg, so early 1970s. Lovely ERF. CYJ469 and that's joined by a lovely old Foden, Vanessa Jane is the name I'm guessing that's possibly X Fairgrounds Foden and ERF of course are both based in Sandbach which isn't a million miles from here another ERF those are the initials of the founder, one of the former Foden family members who set off on his own and set up ERF as a direct rival for the family company Foden. And a wonderful oily rag, David Brown tractor. An old Atkinson border, Cummins diesel. Another Foden. Said and Atkinson, all these names from the past that are now long gone. Scammel, Heavy Haulage, Edward Beckinson Limited. That's a beauty. That's a lovely old lorry, that. Heavy Haulage Specialists. Gardner Diesel Powered, as are so many of these proper lorries. The Bedford TK, 1972. Like I say, the TKs didn't have a tip forward cab, which was not always ideal. They had these access panels here, which hinge up. 
which did grant you some access to the engine but otherwise you'd have to go through the cab whereas the 4D series had the tipping cab which was real you know it was a real benefit to many operators the RF and the SCO, Scammel rather Scooby-Doo this appears at many many events locally throughout the year And the phone of the early 1970s and parked alongside that is this glorious old Seddon and I think this is the one that appeared in the video recently if you have a quick look around on the channel you'll see a video that I did just about this particular Seddon only a few weeks ago absolutely gorgeous old lorry alongside that another Morris J-Type 572 CKC very rare van, many of these were used by the GPO back in the day, they had the rubber wings, this has got the steel wings quite a rare survivor Austin of the unusual cab. Good morning, Good morning. And over here is a little French gem. This is a Willam. Looks like a very oily rag example. And yeah, this is a little sort of Willam micro car, micro van built in France. There's the badge down there. Very original condition. Or VW and a minivan. A 1966 Austin minivan. You can tell it's an earliest one, but the only difference between this and the later one visually is the vent in the roof, which was similar to that on the A35 van and the works Austin Healy's also used them. Dwarfing the Mini somewhat, there's another Atkinson Another ERF AEC Probably best remember nowadays for the Routemaster buses that used to ply their trade around London many years ago until they were withdrawn This is an AEC lorry, OY9542 Probably quite an early, I'm not quite sure what this is got a Morris, 1967-ish, and an Austin, what was this one, the Gypsy, yep, that's the Austin Gypsy, which was the, sort of BMC's rival to the Land Rover. An intriguing little French micro car. Talking of BMC, got the Morris, and alongside is this Austin, which is liveried as the Aberdare Public Library, the mobile library. On the door we've got the logo for Urban District Council of Aberdare. Guessing that's probably a unique survivor, can't be too many of these around. Mighty Seddon Atkinson and the livery of British Steel, shot and works D side in Clwyd, North Wales. E registration, so what's that, late 1980s? Rolls Royce powered. Another classic British favourite now, another Foden 615 MTU, and a drop side body on it. Quite a rare Foden bus or coach. 
MTU296. All local registrations, TU is this area. It's an intriguing old Leyland, CRN993. It appears to be a double decker that's been cut down into a single decker and then made open top for sightseeing, presumably. Uh, it's in the livery of a company from Southport. Um, often you see double deckers where the top roof has been removed, but it's still a double decker with two rows of seats, two levels of seating. But this, the whole top has been taken off, I think. Or was it just a coach that's been cut down? I'm not sure. Here's a wonderful old V8 Ford. Marmon Herrington all wheel drive. DFO 735. This is in the military area at the show. There'll be one or two lorries here which I'll feature in the video. So I'll kind of have a quick look around, see what we can find. I do like this. One and a half ton four by four dump truck. Very nice indeed. I must point out this little uh, Brockhouse court folding motorcycle type of thing that would have been chucked out of aircraft parachuted down and used by soldiers on the field according to this it's a mark ii built in 1949 excelsior engine this corgi lay in the garden near shrewsbury from 1958 until early 1992 while clearing the undergrowth the occupier came across this rusty heap which i purchased from him and restored to its present condition now painting in army colors as used for camp runabouts in the early 1950s See what other lorries and commercial vehicles are lurking within this military section then. Lots of Land Rovers and Jeeps. Let's see what else we've got. Some heavy metal American stuff. I'm not quite sure what that is. Is it a Rio? This is a Dodge. Someone will know the particular name and model I'm sure. I'm not too well up on military vehicles. But alongside, this is the militarised version of the Bedford S-Type. This is the Bedford RL. <laughs> Forward control landy. Next up we have a mid 1980s, 1985-ish Bedford MJ, this is a four tonner. Uh, the army used to have hundreds of these not that many years ago, but they've all gone now. It says there, 1969 until 2012 when they were replaced by MAN trucks, widely used in the forces and came in a variety of configurations. This particular truck is powered by a Bedford 5.4 litre 6 cylinder turbo diesel engine, four wheel drive, high and low gear selection, unladen weight 5,120 kilograms. Of course the cab is shared with the TK which we've seen a few examples of already. Alongside this classic Bedford we have something Russian. I'm not quite sure what that is. Someone will know I'm sure so please pop a note into the comments. But I'm not quite sure what it is. This though is a Scammel Crusader. A real heavy duty British lorry of the early 1970s. Another scammer. Yeah. 
It's an engine and a half. So what's this, the Pioneer? like a Yorkshireman. <laughs> You're not a Yorkshireman, I am, so I know what one sounds like. <laughs> but it's interesting, and it's nice to see you here. I've never seen one before, not in this country, in fact, not ever. And as far as we know, this is the only one that's been ex exported from Italy into the UK. Some have gone to Africa, well, I couldn't finish this video without doing a short clip on this album from 1920, a little Sharabang. Absolutely gorgeous, apologies for the uh, musical accompaniment. But... What a stunning survivor this is. Looks like it's been fully restored in the not too distant past. Not much in the way of controls or instrumentation, just an oil pressure gauge in the floor. Very little else. I like the turn signal and the shape of the hand with a reflector on the back. There's a bit of the history of it. This was sold to the New Zealand government for use of the High Commissioner as shown on the copy build sheet obtained from the bigger Al Albion archives. Repatriated from New Zealand in 2002 as a complete rusty rolling chassis only. And it was registered after its full restoration in 2016 by the present owner. 20 horsepower petrol engine, four cylinder, twin block engine, had new cast white metal big ends, mains, new piston rings, original pistons, new liners, and so on. A fantastic looking vehicle. Well, I think that pretty much wraps up this video looking at the classic and vintage lorries that turned up at Astor Park this year. I hope this was of interest. Uh, there are plenty of other videos on the channel to do with classic cars and lorries, vans, pickups and all that kind of thing. Uh, so if that's your sort of thing, please let me know in the comments and take a look at the rest of the channel while you're here. Thanks very much for watching and more videos very soon. Bye for now.